tearing it down. But after like 20 minutes, there they burn up. Tear the truck down. Yep, tear it down. It begins. But we got all the cars out here except for Colton's truck. Yeah. Ain't that a pretty lineup? Yep. Better side a little pipe up through here and <laughs> took over this side. <laughs> but it's tear down. Pull headers off and all that. It. Take the headers off, take the heads off. See what's wrong with it, maybe. See if we can fix it back. Yeah, you'll get to see that these really are mismatched stock heads. Yeah, we'll prove it to you. <laughs> One's an 882 and the other's a uh, 662, it. something like that. Four, four, nine, seven, I don't know what it is. But you put them on there because that's all you had and you had to drive it every day all the time. And I'm going to high face it right back again. Well, partially. And it's got some sweet shit going on at this time. It'll be a different goddamn ball game when it comes out. <laughs> so be be warned. <laughs> it's uh, been how many years since we tore a mess of this motor? Nine years. Nine years. And I, ain't, I ain't touched the bolt on. I built that motor. Colton helped me build it. Just helped me build it. Nine years ago, and I ain't done shit to it. Nothing. Run the piss out of it from the day it hit the road. Yeah. And that's about it. From the street dyno to the wherever we run the shit out of it. It's been tough and it broke nothing and it's seen 6200, 6500 many times. It wasn't supposed to do that but it does. So. <laughs> it then takes a little short ain't it? <laughs> and a little non-sophisticated. It's just simple. <laughs> we may have to put a bigger scoop on it. Actually I'm gonna do them, huh? You, you're gonna tell her just wait. No, I ain't saying shit. I'm just saying that the intake's too goddamn short. That's all I'm saying. Don't flow right. So what do you do? What the fuck do you do? David, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> do you damn buy a different intake? Or do you buy a damn split dominator intake? <laughs> or do you get a High dollar intake. Or a tunnel ram. Or what, what, what do you do? Tunnel ram or half a ram or I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and pull the rest of the stuff off. Let's get busy. It's hot out here. <laughs> yeah, it is warm. Out. No. <laughs> that just, that's all we do. Here you go, read them numbers. Bone stock, everything. 882 and that one over there is 624. See that? <laughs> Uh, Proof, people. It's like I've told all of you. Two different heads. Oh, it's bullshit, man. Who would do that? Who would put two different heads on it? There you go. <laughs> They're looking at him. The originator. <laughs> yeah. It's right here to keep the bean cool in case you want to get it. You can put a little water on it. It's like a red base spray. Save it on your head. Sexy as a motherfucker. So, might want to try it at home. Paula Dean done it. Somebody got her. Okay. I shouldn't make fun of Paula Dean. Who cares about Paula Dean? Little fat blonde. She ain't no poor. She makes a damn good sandwich. I ain't never eaten her crappy food. What about I have to give a shit about her. I think she's probably got the clout. <laughs> Give it to somebody, one or two, got it or give it, and it goes one way or another. Uh -huh. Got a little damn oil in my damn, uh, coming out my damn intake hole, so I think I have a leaky damn intake gasket, too. I have a damn, Ooh. when it rains, it pulls. Whole thing's pretty clean down there, too. Look at that. Yeah. Whole fucking motor's pretty clean. I don't see no bent push rods. Yeah. No, nothing I could no tell. No porting. No porting. Yeah. See how the casting works? No porting. I don't know if we're going to try and port them other ones. <laughs> Take a long time. Take off the rough edge. Heck, you can even see how they're damn... You can, I mean, you can, you can see they ain't never been done done to them. Mm -mm. Dad had these laying in the garage and stuck yeah. them on. They were in a shit pile. I just put them on here and put a bunch of miles on. They've stayed clean up. They've served their purpose. Yep. I don't know what's broken this son of a bitch. Seems like everything's working good. Ain't no rockers loose. 
everything's damn tight so I think my cam's still good after 16 years I don't see a push rod that's bent to fit nothing's mm -hmm. loose I don't see no shit hanging out in other lifters which would make a rocker loose so I'm betting on a valve spring we'll see here in a little while really once we get them off we'll see it's, it's something's gone wrong because the old girl's hurt yeah, she's wounded <laughs> Ain't nothing we can't fix. Alright, stay tuned. <laughs> Heads are off now. What was that there? Show us that again. See those pistons? Yeah, you see that you movement? See that? <laughs> this motor's been built six times. That's the sixth rebuild. This is right when we did it last time, nine years ago. Been built six times and ain't been in the machine shop yet. <laughs> Probably never will. And it ain't going this time. This right here is a 400 head. You see the steam holes. That one over there is, don't have a steam hole. Oh, this one does too. Oh, it does? Yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, there's two different see, right, right there in the cylinder, right between the cylinders. And you can see. This exhaust port. Well, you can see it. There it is, right there. Look at that. See how that's flowing? You see how all that's ported? Can you see down in there real good? That's all horsepower, people. Can you see yeah, down look there? Look at that. That's all that port work. That's why she flowed around so good. <laughs> Pulled 871 when they say that. <laughs> you run the 790 when you had the hump heads on. Yeah, I had hump heads on with a 795 a long time With long a steel long. front end. Yep. But I ain't got no hump head, so. Yeah, that's because y'all see, you've seen what happened. I took his head. You're on Justin's car, so I had makes, to, it sucks, but it I had to no do it. So I got me another set of heads. I'm going to clean them up. And I'm going to make them run. Just like you did on 57. Yep, I on And I'm not going to tell you what it was, or how it was. You know what it was, but you don't know how it was. But. It's gonna run better this time. Mm. All right, better dude. than it's ever run before. Ever. It's always run. Well, then I'm gonna go over here and tear these down. And we'll see if we can figure out what's causing we don't the know miss. What happened, though. It's like nothing broke yet, so I don't know. Well, we don't know until we pull all the valve springs off. Because mm -hmm. remember, you said when you pulled them off, it had that same sound, yeah. then you just yeah. took one off and it I fell think, out. I think it's a valve spring. I ain't seen nothing broke that I can see right now, but something's. Yeah, the main thing important is, look, there ain't no holes in the pistons, nothing mm -hmm. like that. All the lifters look good, and they're nice and stiff. Cam's fine. Everything looks good to me. Nice and clean. And there ain't no metal in the no oil. metal in the oil. Oil's just dirty as hell, but that's the way it always been. No metal in it, so. There you go. Told you this motor. Ain't shit, dude. <laughs> that is proof right there, except, so except be, for the pistons. So don't be scared. The pistons and then my hump is what helped this thing run as good as it, it did that one time. If it will flow with those pistons, but this time it's, it will. I promise you, it will. <laughs> That's a wrap to come back. I'm going to tear these down. <laughs> that roll bar is officially in. Yep, done. Check it out. <laughs> it no. no. If it comes out of there, I'm fucked anyway. <laughs> It's unbolted to the floor, welded back here, and bolted. Yes. But he actually has his old... Talk about a bitch to get in here now. We ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> that was a bad fucker. But today, tore down the motor on the truck and put the roll bar in the 57. So this has to be ready for Super Chevy and the truck, just in case. Mm -hmm. So now I'll go home and build my fix my set of heads and build them and do some shit to them. Then. Hopefully tomorrow put it back on there and it'll run, I hope. We gotta go by O'Reilly, see if we can find a cap for a distributor tomorrow. Oh yeah, see if I got a damn MSD cap I need one down. <sighs> Check out that link with sticker. Yeah. That awesome. Yeah. Regional equipment. <laughs> Big wood. Oh, it's so hot in here. Oh. Oh. Hot. Roll bar. Check it out. Drill the hole. Got this fixed. All done. It's awesome. Looking good.
Yeah, you're done. Change the scoops again. Huh? I'm going, I'm going back with my two lane. <laughs> I get bored easy. Uh, trucks all take apart, fixing the truck. Got the truck heads and shit off the truck this morning. Got the roll bar in this one. So you got a roll bar and everything in it now. It's all fixed and good to go, solid. And now we're putting this other scoop on an oven and then we're gonna go get something to eat. So that's a, that's yeah, one. Left already, but I can't help it. Yeah, we're gonna leave, but he's eating at him. He was eating at him about this scoop. You can see how we like the scoop. That's that one, that one, that one. That one. We got a couple more head around. Got I got a couple of windshield snorkels and I want to, I've changed them back and forth on the truck. We're just a scoop kind of family scoop and those breathers of velocity stacks. You just keep flopping shit around. But all of it works. But you just gotta change the look. We get bored real easy. Justin gets more bored than I I'll ever think about. No, I just I don't want to be associated with nobody's nobody. What was that? I don't want to be my car to be associated with nobody else's. So I want it to be different. I and think it's slim, it ain't got a cow scoop on it. It ain't murder. It's mine. It's, it's Wilson's. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. That'll get no cleaner than that. <laughs> oh, shit. Real as it gets around here.